Hey guys, let's check out Waves NX Germano Studios, New York. And if you're mixing with headphones, you know that that's not an ideal situation. You probably do this because you don't have the acoustic, because you don't have a proper studio or whatever. But there are some advantages and some disadvantages for mixing with headphones. I'm not going into that a lot here with this video but the well basic idea is that most of us don't have proper acoustic treatment in our home studio or uh, we want to get very uh, detailed on some parts of our mix and we're using the the headphones but the disadvantages are of course that we don't get that real studio feeling the stereo field we don't hear those bleedings from left to right and, and things like that. So the idea behind the NX series is that you get to sit in a well world-class studio and get that translated into headphones. So this is really great. And for me, sometimes mixing or doing work here in my home studio, it's just very uh, well very interesting to sit down and have a listen to my mix through what appears to be a virtual studio so what waves did here is to capture the ambience capture the response of the different speakers and get that into the system so let's dive in i'm going to show you that i really recommend that you use your headphones while watching this video. Right, so let's go through the user interface and also get to know the idea behind the uh, NX series. So what we have is, first of all, we can use a tracker, a special device that I have on my headphones, uh, which is a Bluetooth device. And also I can use my uh, camera here, my webcam to capture my head and there are some measurements you might want to do to get things very accurate and specific for yourself but that will help us get the position so when I'm in front of my uh, working um, monitor my display here I would like to first calibrate things I want to make sure that I'm sitting in front of my camera or using my head tracker and you can see here in the middle that it actually captures uh, my movements. And so we have this setting button over here. And you can see that the camera actually captures my uh, head. And But I also have the Bluetooth tracker. So you don't have to use that. Anyway, that's the first thing. Next, we have this, uh, well, zeroing into our position. And then next, we really want to make sure that we are using the head modeling system correctly. And there's a lot of information about this in the user manual. So you need to measure your uh, head and uh, the, the distance between your ears and something very important. We are using headphones, but we are sort of listening to a space. We're listening as if we were in that studio. So um, when I'm using my headphones, I want to make sure that I'm aligned with the software. So there are some famous or popular headphones here. And lucky for me, I have my uh, Biodynamics uh, 880 here. So that's what I selected. And But you can use the default. That's perfectly fine. And then we have the head modeling 
and you can change that you can save your own preset if you if you're using this with different people i mean pe other people in your studio you can uh, save your preferences here and uh, you know that's the idea behind the tracking i really love the uh, you know hearing this hearing this mix which uh, i'm using to demo a lot of plugins and now listening to this uh, through well the nx system so much details so now with that let's again calibrate ourselves and i want to show you something else we have different speakers as they are in the studio and this also supports i mean stereo it supports 5.1 surround and so on and we have three speaker system to choose from we have the ga which is the APS Germano Acoustic Eon 2 near field monitors. That's what I have selected right now. And then we have the NS10M uh, and we have the XCG, which are the big ones um, on the wall there. So let's have a listen to all three one by one and just, you know, try to appreciate the differences. Right, and throughout the uh, playing here, I bypassed and changed the speaker system so you can appreciate that. Really cool stuff. And by the way, of course, you can download a demo. So I really recommend that. Download the demo and have a close listen, but make sure you are uh, measuring your head, you are using the right uh, you know, headphone EQ curves so you get the uh, most accurate experience here and so that's pretty much it there's not a lot in this plugin again the idea is to put you as a mixer in that studio and get uh, you know a good mixing experience so that is the Germano studio New York experience in your home studio I guess so thank you so much and if you have any questions or anything let me know in the comments of course you are most welcome to join my discord server and i'm going to put the link in the description of this video i'm also going to put a link which is my affiliate link to this so appreciate if you use that link i get a little bit of commission but you really don't have to use that link that's perfectly fine doesn't really change the price for you anyway i'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.